Yo, what's good, YouTube? You're back at the Prez. We're in the park today, and today I'm bringing you a pull strength training session. We're gonna be using extra weights. We're gonna be doing weighted pull-ups for the first movement. So, all we're gonna be doing today, two exercises. Remember, in order to train your back and hit it the most beneficial way, you gotta be doing vertical and horizontal movements. Vertical to work on that width this way, that tapered shape, and horizontal rows to work on that thickness, that width this way. So we're gonna be doing low volume strength training. Remember, when doing strength training, generally the reps are lower, the rest periods are gonna be longer. So first exercise we're gonna be doing weighted pull-ups. I got 50 pounds of me. We're gonna be going for 10 sets of five reps. Traditionally, you guys know me to be talking about doing five by five training when working on strength. If I was doing five by five, the load would be slightly heavier. I'm only using 50 pounds today, but we're going for 10 sets of five reps. We'll be working in that two to three minute break period. And again, we're gonna be accumulating a little more volume than what we would be doing a five by five training. So volume's gonna be higher, intensity is gonna be slightly lower than if we were doing a five by five, because the load is a little lower, but we're gonna be doing more reps overall, more overall total weight lifted. 10 rounds of that, and then one more exercise, we're gonna do five sets of a horizontal rowing exercise. Again, in that strength training uh, rep range, in that low one to five rep range. So stay tuned, and let's get it. All right, so we're gonna start off with two warm-up sets. Set one is gonna be a body weight set. I'm gonna do four explosive pull-ups as fast as I can. The reason why I'm gonna do explosive is gonna activate the nervous system more. The more central nervous system activity is gonna prepare you better for the weighted sets to come. Then I'm gonna do one set at 25 pounds, that's gonna be the second warm-up set. I'm gonna hit about six reps with the 25 pounds, then we're gonna get into our working sets at 50 pounds. Let's go. All right, that was set one, five reps. I'm gonna rest about two, three minutes now, and the goal is 10 sets of five reps. So normally when you guys see me training for strength, I, I preach a lot about five sets of five. That's correct, five sets of five is a great way to build up on strength. Today I'm gonna be using a slightly lighter load than I would be doing with five by five, but I'm gonna increase the volume. So I'm going 10 sets of five, I'm doubling up the reps. If I was to try to do 10 sets of five with the load I'm doing five by five with, that five by five low wouldn't be as effective. So this is an effective way to build muscle and build strength at the same time. You're getting the volume up and you're working at a heavy load with low rep percentages. So 10 sets, I go, Jamie's gonna go and we're still gonna rest two, three minutes in between each set. Probably more towards the three, four minute side towards the higher end of the sets. Remember, strength training, you wanna rest up to five minutes to let the ATP and the creatine stores fully replenish in your body so you're effective they're using all the muscle fibers and getting these high intensity sets in let's go let's go stay tuned Remember guys, you want each rep, chin over the bar, full lockout, dead stop reps. Remember when training for strength, try to eliminate the momentum. You wanna get full range of motion, get strong throughout the entire range with the given weight. Let's go, two sets done. Let's go, set three.
look guys, I'm gonna say this. Strength training can get boring, meticulous, but that's how you get better. You gotta do the same movements, you gotta practice, you gotta get strong at a set weight before you can move on. Strength training is a little more, is a little more boring, less intense than if you're doing a full body, bodybuilding type of routine in the gym. You get to go exercise to exercise, gives you a little more variation. Here we're doing one exercise over and over for 10 sets. Some people could get discouraged by that. Listen, it's all mental. Push through. The overall volume is gonna help you out in the end. Let's get it. Let's go, set five. Halfway through the sets. Listen, and this is a routine you can practice if you're not really feeling like going 100% out, balls to the wall. Sometimes you have to learn to vary the intensity of your workouts. Yes, it's a post strength thing. I could have did deadlifts, I could have did weighted pulls, I could have added a variety of exercises to me, to this routine. But sometimes you just gotta know your body and know the limit that it's having. So listen, routines like this, two exercises, keep the intensity decent enough where you're gonna make progress and you don't have to do too much. Two exercises, we're gonna get about 15 total working sets in, and that's all you guys need. Go, set six, let's get it. Light work. Let's go, full range of motion, full lockout, chin over the bar, every rep. Let's go, seven sets. Let me say this. So say your goal is, like my goal is, and our goal for this routine, 10 sets of five reps with this 50 pounds. Say by set nine, I drop off to four reps, or if I can't hit the five reps by set nine, or set eight, let's say, I would just quit the workout right there, and then next time, I would use the same weight, and I would try to get past that set. So for instance, if I got seven sets of five, and set eight, I caught four reps, I would end the routine right there. Next time I did this, I would try to get eight rounds of five minimum and then go for that ninth round but we already hit seven rounds of five feeling real confident that i'm going to complete all 10 sets five reps with this 50 pounds so that's a good way you guys can scale the weight and progressively overload if you have a weight that you can't quite master yet but we're gonna hit all 10 sets with this five reps next time we'll up the weight maybe 55 pounds or 60 pounds let's go let's go set eight Let's go, set nine. Last two sets, best sets, let's get it. Come on, you want your last sets to look like your first sets. That's how you know you're getting stronger and all the sets are clean and you own them. All right, set 10. You already know it's gonna be the best set. I'm gonna do pause reps on top too. One second pause, chin over the bar, one second dead hang. Let's get this. All right. That's 10 sets, weighted pull-ups, done with 50 pounds. That's our vertical movement of the day. We're gonna do one more exercise, horizontal movement. Again, it's gonna be a strength-based movement, working that low volume rep range, stay tuned. All right, next up, we're gonna do five sets 
of a horizontal rowing movement. Remember, back we've got to target vertically and horizontally. Vertical is going to target more of that V taper, the lats, the whip this way, and rowing movements, horizontal movements are going to work more of that thickness this way. So we're going to be doing an advanced tuck lever row. We're going to be using a band now so we get good clean reps. I got the black band, that's my second lightest band. I'm going to be in that tuck front lever position and we're going to row as clean form as we possibly can in that three to five rep range. Chest to bar, come down to full lockout. Watch, let's get it. So for, you, for those of you at home who want to try this move, right, all you do is need one resistance band. Wrap it around one hand, get it around your back just like this. Thread your hands through it, and then just get on the dip bar or whatever bar you're using. From there, get into the tough front lever position. Knees up, here, retract the step. Row, one, two. So nice five control reps, squeezing, getting a nice one second hold on that concentric portion of the rep. Five rounds of this, let's go. Uh, again, we're taking two three minute breaks in between each of these sets. We want all the reps to be clean, smooth, effective reps. Three to five reps each set. Let's go. This is the fifth set of the advanced tuck lever rows. Remember, I'm using the resistance band for help. The main thing it's doing is helping me get out of the bottom position. Me flexing and holding the contracted position is all my strength. The band is only helping me at the bottom portion of the rep, getting me from fully locked out back up into the contracted part of the rep, helping me get through that full range of motion clean. So it's the fifth set, five reps of each, five reps each set. Remember, low volume strength training this whole pull workout. Let's get it. All right, that's a wrap the routine. 15 total sets. We hit 50 total weighted pull ups, 10 sets of five. And then we hit five sets of five reps of those advanced tuck lever rows with a band. Remember, the band was only there to assist us getting out of the hole. That contraction, us holding full flexion right there, the band was not applying any tension there. Remember, the band's only gonna be tense when we lock out and it stretches out itself. When I'm in full flexion, that's all our body weight doing all the strength training right there. Five sets, five reps again two to three minute breaks in between each of those sets. 15 sets total. This is how we're doing an effective strength building workout. The intensity is high, we're working hard, but again, we're not killing ourselves if we're doing set after set, super sets, high volume. That's a different type of intensity. Hope you guys enjoy this workout. And again, this can be scaled to any level. 10 sets of five reps can be done body weight. You could do it with 10 pounds, 15 pounds, work to your level. This is a great routine to help you not only increase your reps, but you're gonna get stronger build muscle and again, increase your endurance and your overall reps because you're hitting the 10 sets. Your goal is to get the same reps each set. So if, like I said earlier, if you would quit on set eight, if you would only hit four reps, you end the workout there. You wanna get through all 10 sets with the same amount of reps each set. That's how you ensure you're getting stronger and controlling the weight. Let's get it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Peace out. Four naturals. For a die, I'm top three. For a die, I'm top three. For a die, look.